This is Andy Schaffers with Acuity. Today I'll be discussing high feed mills. The tool that you see on the screen here is a mill with a 45 degree lead angle. High feed mills are characterized by a very small lead angle. So this is probably at 45, the beginning of what we'd call a high feed mill. Acuity has customers using high feed mills uh, with lead angles all the way down to, to 10 degrees. Of course, when you have a very low lead angle like that, you've got to be careful that your depth of cut is not too great or you'll go right over the top of your flutes. So that is another characteristic of the high feed mills is we are cutting full width with the diameter but uh, taking very light cuts and keeping the feed rate way up. This video I'm making is in response to a video from Sandvik uh, done by Kevin Lorch where he describes a problem you can have with high feed mills on entry where uh, because the you've got an interrupted cut as you enter, the uh, tool will tend to make a terrible noise and you'll get a bad finish right there at the entrance. And what he's recommending is a roll-in technique where we roll the tool in on an arc so that we've got a, uh, a thick chip at the entry and a thin chip there at the exit while we've got the interrupted cut going on. So I want to show you today how to use NX to create the kind of toolpath that they're looking for in that uh, Sandvik video. I've got an operation already started and in fact as you see it on the screen right now it is uh, how we would typically do other types of tooling, but it is in fact the opposite of what we want for the, the Sandvik lead-in move on the high feed tools. Let me go through a few details on how this was created and then we'll fix our problem. And this video is specifically oriented towards NX9 and the later maintenance releases of 8.5 where we added this additional capability. Let's go in now to the operation and have a look. You can see that I've got my step over set at 92%. Again, that's a characteristic of high feed mills as we want to uh, go almost full width with those. Uh, then let's go into the cutting parameters here. I am using the floor wall and you notice these little uh, C cuts here on the outside. Uh, I want to be able to machine right over the top of those. And so the technique I'm using here is I have a blank defined as you can kind of see on the screen. And so it's looking at that blank and using that to determine the outer perimeter. That's why I'm not having any problems getting around those. Uh, also, I've got a tool overhang of 50%. Let's now go look at the non-cutting moves. And here we'll see in the engage that uh, I've got my open area engage type set to arc and I've got a radius at 55% of the tool diameter. We'll talk about that again in a minute. Um, but the thing that we need to do to accommodate the high feed mills is change the arc angle from positive to negative. So here I'll just change that to negative 90 degrees. And let's regenerate. And what you'll see is that NX will flip those arcs around to the other side. Okay, that's basically all you need to do there to accommodate those high feed mills. Let's do a, a quick verif verify here. This will go pretty quick, but uh, I am on 3D dynamic. I've got the tool set to wireframe and I'm displaying the tool path. So I think you'll be able to see the tool actually roll into the cut. Again, what we're looking for is the thick chip on the entry side and a thin chip here on the exit as the tool rolls out. Let's see it again on the second pass. And we'll just let it go one more time to show the roll in here on the top pass. Earlier I mentioned that my radius for the lead-in move was 55% of the tool. To get the thinnest chip on exit, I'd actually want to set this to 50% of the tool. But the problem there is that then I have no clearance on my lead-in. The tool would be wrapping down just right on the edge of the part. So it is necessary to give yourself a, a little bit of clearance here. And in this case, I chose 55%. 
that's really what you need to do then to get your high feed tool set up in NX9 or again the later maintenance releases of NX8.5. Please let us know at Acuity if we can assist you in implementing these new high feed mills.